All right, just wanted to uh, go through the first couple steps in setting up the laptop uh, for uh, Ableton and uh, main stage. So the first one is just, you know, the basic uh, setting on top of the keyboard rack right about here. And um, uh, now we're going to plug it in. So we'll start with some of the obvious stuff. Start with like the power cord, or the power cord down there. It's this white cord with the, and it's got a, kind of a magnetic thing it goes, uh, connects right there. And you'll see a little, you'll see it light up as it does. Next thing you want to do is connect this blue USB cord. It has a white tag around it. Okay. And you will connect that into the USB port on the left hand side. So you got the power cord and just a little further down, you got the USB cord. Uh, now what I've also done is just kind of looped the, both of those through this uh, handle on the, uh, on the rack just to kind of keep them, you know, there and snug and, you know, hopefully keep them from falling out, especially the power cord. Power cord can, uh, because it's a magnet, if it trips, it can come out easy. So you want to make sure that uh, that comes out. You don't want to have that come out during the middle of a service because we've had it happen and it wasn't fun. All right, so we've got this side down, left side down. Now what we do is go over to the right, right side. Now you've got the, um, another USB cord, a gray one. But that connects to the keyboard, so you plug that into the USB port right here in the back, followed by this black HDMI cord. This will be for the other monitor. You plug that in to the connector, the HDMI cord connector right next to it. Sorry, this is a little shaky here. Doing this with two hands. There we go. Connects in. So USB, HDMI. We're all connected and now ready to go. So just lift up the laptop and your power button is right here. Top uh, right hand corner. Just hold it down till you hear that noise. And we start up, we get the Apple logo. It will uh, start to boot up. And then what we want to do is choose Worship MacBook Pro. So go to your mouse, you got your mouse pad, go to that, and then just simply click it twice. You will enter the password, which I will give you, and then press enter. It will do its thinking, and then we see the uh, mountaintops, and then we move on to um, the rest of the uh, instructions for starting up Ableton Live and uh, Main Stage 3. One thing I just will show you for Main Stage 3 um, when we open it is how to drag it from this screen to that screen because that's where you want Main Stage 3 to be. So now once it opens up, okay, it opens up, we open up the concert and so on. Okay, all you do is just scroll to just one of the you know, top areas here. And then I'm, I click down with my thumb in the uh, lower um, left-hand area. And then as you're doing that, you, you grab it with the cursor and then just use your finger while you're holding your thumb down to move it over to this screen over here and just kind of moves through space and time here. <laughs> so right over to the screen, nothing too fancy you have to do. So you do it till it gets here and then let go and there it is. And then the final step when you're done setting up main stage will be to click this little perform button and voila, big old screen with main stage on it. All right, hope that helps. I will um, talk to you soon. See ya, bye.